I, sh I should have saved that game, I like but I'm too tired. Play one more, and then I'm going to stop. G2. Oh, I forgot he plays knight c3 and bishop c4 every time. If I check on d1 first, it might be a draw. But that's how it goes. I'll play. I'll play one more on stop. I think. Oh, I think line. I had some way to I save. I think I can the sack there, the pawn here. This is I'm like too tired. The, so the whatever. Like. D4 is some home cooking. Yeah. D4 is some home cooking. No, I think I just blundered again. Okay, what if I just cast? I don't buy what he's doing here. I don't buy what he's selling. What he's selling. Maybe First not. First of all, I can See, go into the end game. Okay, I'm gonna castle. Pie. I'll play for the win here. Look here. C5, knight takes d5, cd, cd. Wait, what, I what, assume what, I should what castle I queen side. I do have knight d5 right away, maybe. I have no idea. I'll figure I'm it out. Because I think Dan is also not spotting everything. I think he's tired too. So if I perceive him to be tired, mm. I'm not going to trust all his tactics. Nbd7 is interesting. Rook e4, bishop e5, queen a5. I have lots of options here. Because he's know, also but blundering like too. Like, but I don't go g2. Um... Where, where was my pawn? My pawn was on g3, my queen was on h1. Somehow in my mind, I would have had I had more chances here. I played queen d5. I go queen d1 first, and then queen d5, I'd probably but I draw the I game. Really. But anyway, uh, okay. Chances. Um, just take. Yeah, it's just. Well, it's I knight g5 already. I was like, I'm gonna lose, but oh, he can even castle king, queen queenside. Actually, this is just very cleanly totally winning. Forgot about that. Yeah, Daniel's just out of it too. He's also just blundering suddenly. What a disaster. Yeah, e4, e5 is a no go. He's not seeing anything anymore. either. We're both like blind bats at the moment. I mean, he's probably just gonna resign. E4, e5 against this is horrible. He's too good at these lines. I can give up a second pawn, maybe. I mean, it's the best that I can do, I guess. Yeah, I can obviously just take it, right? Just try to hold this end game, but I have some chances with opposite colored bishops, but not too many. But you never know. Okay, let's figure out how to win this game without messing it up. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go here to trade the pieces. It's rook e2, but I just go bishop e3. Or rook d2 back. Gotta get all the rooks off the board. Of course white is winning, but it's never easy to convert these positions. Let's go here. I mean, I'm simply up two pawns in the end game, so okay. I mean, I should just be winning here. Let's go perhaps here. Running bishop f5. Let's go here and rook d2, rook f4. Maybe. Or here. Wait, did I just blunder bishop f5? I did. He's got to go rook d2, I would imagine. Rook f4 check. What the heck? I blundered bishop f5. I mean, I'm lucky I have rook c1 and c3. I was about to go here. here? But let's just go here. Now I should just win with rook e1. Problem is the rook trade's probably lost. Since that is wrong. I mean, I'm actually two finding points. ways to blunder. We can try to. If trade I split the pawns, I assume this is winning. I feel like he's gonna go rookie three. I assume this is winning with the pawns, but actually I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna go here. Uh, bishop e3. Okay. I can force the trade here. This has to be winning. Mm -hmm. If this isn't winning, I don't know what is. I mean, this just has to be winning. I just split the pawns wide. Yeah, but he has king a5 and king b2. I also have king a5 here, which should be good enough. What if I try this? Yeah, this is not it. I mean, he's down three pawns here. I mean, there's just no shot. Oh. Yeah, he's lost. yeah, he'll resign. Okay. GG. So again, I don't think either of us are particularly sharp, though. 